Shopper Complex presents Tobago Grassroots Talent. Ordinary people with extraordinary talent. Follow us at Shopper Complex. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Check us out. Tobago Grassroots Talent. and welcome to Tobago Grassroots Talent. This is our prize giving and uh, sponsor celebration event. And we want to welcome all of you. We want to thank you for your support over the last three and a half months. And uh, let me say welcome to Risia. Risia, I know you have something special to say today at this time. Thank you, Ms. Tano. Welcome to all of you. Thank you so much to the 46 contestants or 14 finalists. Tobago Grassroots Challenge would not have been the resounding success that it has been without you guys, without your enthusiasm, without your hard work, and most importantly, more than your, without your talent. So thank you so much, everyone. We consider everyone winners this evening, despite the results. So I think, I think we say one of the things just, be, I mean, today, everybody is looking forward to results. And by the way, we, 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 we are excited about the results, but I think more than that, let's just do a, a small review. What we saw over the last few weeks was a plethora of talent in Tobago that was totally undiscovered, yeah. totally unknown. And this emerging and, and emerging talent, I mean, just redounds really well for Tobago in the creative sector. And um, I think beyond what has happened here is what do we do now? How do we see the pathways? How do we see the avenues? How do we see the opportunities for these creatives beyond grassroots to participate in the cultural space that we have in, in Tobago? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I totally agree with you regarding um, the unearthing of talent. Um, I think that even though there would have been a lot of individuals that might have been in their little corners that people would have known about in terms of uh, um, the wider Tobago space or even Trinidad and Tobago on the world, because when it is that I looked at the analytics on YouTube alone, it would have been a lot of the um, the viewers would have been from Trinidad and Tobago, the United States and Guyana. I found that oh, to be okay. very interesting. interesting yeah. So it would have been bringing out, even when you look at the commentary, because on whenever we have the shows, I sit and I read the comments, not just on the show pack page, but what people are tagging us in. And one yes. thing that came out would have been a lot of people just being very impressed um, with a lot of the talents, a lot of the individuals that they did not know about. Um, yeah. So even though a lot of these people might have had their own little platforms, I definitely think that Tobago Grassroots Talent gave a lot of individuals an extra boost um, to yeah. what they would have already been doing. Um, so even if it's a situation where someone may feel, okay, maybe they did not place or maybe they did not qualify to the finals, yeah. um, the exposure is there because people are still going back, looking at the older episodes. We submit the individual submissions. They are there to be seen and i really hope that um the contestants they themselves look to build their own platforms whether it's on youtube That's you right. create your own youtube channel um you could create a public figure page on facebook instagram you could post your own content and continue to take it from there or prize the prize that we have to give a minuscule in comparison to the knowledge whether it was from the workshops at music tt or ipo and even the exposure mr arnold but i totally agree yeah. with you that yeah. okay yeah. um more could be done to expose and unearth even more talent on the island because i'm positive that there is tons more where this came from yeah 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 there, there's no doubt about that i mean um what i'm hoping is that all the various agencies within the tha um what what we are hoping is that we can start to build that kind of capacity take note of it also encourage them to do their own development their own training and i'm really glad that that music tt and ipo really allow them to be exposed to some of the tools that they need 
for their own personal and, 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 and uh, career development. Um, I, I mean, in terms of the objectives, I feel really good that what we started off by yeah. saying we will do, we did, and what the, the COVID created the opportunity for us to come up with the initiative and be innovative and so on. But I think beyond that, the benefits, not only to the, the communities, but the benefits to the island in terms of the exposure, in terms of people and their own career development, as I mentioned. Um, I think that we were dead on, and I think we were fortunate to have the kind of participation. And I really plan that we have to look at how we follow up, because one of the things about monitoring and evaluation is how you follow up so that a year from now, when we when we are doing season two, we can talk about where what has been the progress of those persons who were there in the beginning. All right. And I would like to see us being one of those platforms that really, really assist. Um, so I think it's important for us to know that the competition ran and we're down now to the, we had the finals, the grand finals last week, and uh, we had five great judges. Let's share the judges with our viewers today. So here is a look at our judges. On the top left of your screen, Ms. Joanna Charles, dancer, choreographer, educator, works at the University of West Indies, and uh, fully qualified to judge a show like this. She has been involved in theater arts, teaching drama also, and uh, even music at her school. And uh, just below Joanna, you see Derek Lewis, entrepreneur, cultural activist, and certainly no stranger to the cultural fraternity. Um, he, has even, he has a company called Eventology, and uh, he also works in the mass business and the promotion business. That's Derek Lewis, another great, great judge from Trinidad. Next to Derek, below, and just below Risia is Samuel Archer. And Samuel Archer is a musician. He used to, he's from Tobago, from um, Bethany, and uh, he now lives in Delaware, but he's a full-fledged producer, musician, um, everything in the area of composing, um, songwriting, etc. This is solid, a solid, solid guy in that. And we're really pleased to have Sam as one of the judges. Next to Sam and just below my uh, pick is Miss, Mrs. Allison Seaport, another educator, another dancer, choreographer, well, well known for years. She has worked in Carifest and many of the national festivals and certainly an authority on dance development curriculum etc and uh, we want to welcome and thank Alison for being part of the judges panel and the last pick below no stranger to us in Tobago Jason Arthur he has been involved in the lyrical lords uh, several years ago which was a very successful cultural entrepreneurial um, effort he's also a writer a marketer and he's also um, a very avid follower of music and music development. So we're glad and we want to thank all our judges for being a part of Tobago Grassroots Talent. And uh, let me give you all your own round of applause. Thank you very much for the support. Risia, um, what, what do you think? You think it must have been a very difficult thing for the judges, right? Miss Arnold, the finals was definitely an amazing show um, in terms, not just in terms of the talent, but just the overall quality and the visuals. Um, yeah. I know that it would have been a very, very hard task. And each of the judges, when it is that I looked at their comments, they were just so impressed with each individual. Um, we know that some people would have had a higher quality videos than others, but many of the judges were looking at the talent 
the pure yeah. talent, not so much the visuals because we understand that some people had challenges and so on, but they were definitely impressed, definitely spoke highly of so many individuals. It was very, very difficult for them to um, make a final decision and come to consensus on an overall winner because they were just blown away by all of what it is that they saw. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, and, and, and I endorse your comments there. The, the judges even personally shared with me the task. And I, I think you're right. What they were mostly impressed with was they were so amazed at the, the variety of talent that exists on the island. And I mean, we can speak to that from looking, even the guy playing the guitar, the rock solo. Yeah. I mean, going back, they're all kinds, you know, from gospel to rock to rap. Dance. So we right had now. quite a number of dance or submissions all, yeah. that were really good. Yeah. So I, I think that's great. But I want to talk about our sponsors because I think they're so important for the show. Um, without them, we could not get the kind of prizes we got for the um for the sponsors and so i want to talk a little bit about want to thank and and really talk about nlcb um the great contribution that they've made to us utc um with their three prizes first, first second and third want to thank Veltronics. want to thank pro sanitation um the lion's den studio uh we want to thank downtown Trimbego electrical for the cash donation want to thank state solutions um eventology want to thank jqa events thorn studios for that great prize for the top vocalist and you'll hear about that in a while who would certainly get studio time mixing and mastering um want to thank tempo my my dear friend there frederick morton and i uh, want to thank eastern credit union for their great prize there of shares and deposits. And I want to thank B Mobile, Jamila Warwick, and uh, the whole team there at TSTT. I want to thank everybody, including you, Risa. Um, we, we can't, you as a sponsor, we can't even talk about that, right? We can't even measure that, right? <laughs> the kind of effort you put into the, the, the program. And so we have a few. Um, presentations here from our sponsors. Let's go to our sponsors presentation. Hi, I'm Jamila Warwick, responsible for communications, events, and sponsorship here at TSTT Tobago Operations. I'd like to congratulate each one of you who participated in the Tobago Grassroots Talent Show and send an even bigger congratulations to all our winners. You guys are nothing short of fantastic. I've had the pleasure of viewing some of your entries and I must say, ordinary people with extraordinary talents. I know that 2020 has been a tough year for persons in the creative industry, but you guys have not missed a beat. You guys have honed in on your talents, on your creativity, and your commitment to the various art forms is commendable. As sponsors of this event, we are more than happy to donate a Huawei P20 handset Huawei is one of our leading partners in technology, and we are more than happy to share that with you. So congratulations once again, and all the best on your future endeavors from everyone here at TSTT. Hello, my name is Atiba Straker, and I am the manager of the Veltronics Limited Stores. Our family here at Veltronics are extremely proud of what has been presented by the creatives featured on the Tobago Grassroots Talent Competition. We are very happy to have been a sponsor of this event and are both excited and pleased to be able to donate a Bose S1 Pro system to one of the competitors' finalist winners. We wish the best to all the Tobago creatives going forward and offer our congratulations to all of the winners. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ken Jones from Jones Motors. At Jones Motors, we provide all your needs when it comes to the Kia, Mazda and the Suzu lines. But we are proud really proud to be associated with the Tobago grassroots movement on this in our own initiative and talent event. And we are happy that we can partner and now sponsor as we present this prize to one of them, whoever that winner would have been, because you all would have been winners. But we present this prize of the Galaxy Samsung tablet so that you can enjoy and continue in your endeavors in this entertainment environment. 
Hi, I'm Baby Thorne, and I am the owner of Baby Thorne Studios, and we are happy to be a part of the Tobago Grassroots Talent. When we were asked by John to be a part of this wonderful initiative, all I said to him was, yes, we are giving one lucky contestant an opportunity to come in and have their song professionally recorded, mixed and mastered. Babyton Studios is located in Bagatelle, Scarborough, Tobago. And you can contact us at 682-8676 or 682-TORN. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at BTP TV Tobago. Babyton Studios Tobago, where we make music come alive. And now the moment that everyone has just been waiting for, the results from the finals. In fourth position, we have a duo that left the judges um, talking. They were highly impressed with this group. In fourth position, we have Purpose the Duo. They covered Mary Did You Know, a very classic Christmas song that seemed to really, really touch um, all of our judges, Miss Arnold. Yes, um, purpose of duo, very impressive duo, and uh, they have a few here, a big few here. Um, and uh, we we're very pleased. And uh, what are the prizes for the fourth place, Missia? Our fourth place winners are going to be receiving $500 cash as well as a mobile phone sponsored by B Mobile, Miss Arnold. Good, and uh, that means we go to the third place in the finals of Tobago Grassroots Talent competition. In third position, the husband and wife duo, Desi and Shelly. And Desi and Shelly will receive, oh, well, I tell you, they, they receive from Eastern Credit Union $1,000. Here's how it goes. 500 must be in deposits and 500 will go to shares. They also receive a tablet from Jones Motors. And they also receive $500 in, 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 in shares from Unit Trust Corporation. Congratulations to the third place winners, Desi and Shelley. Miss Donald, our second place winner um, definitely set social media blaze. She definitely had tongues wagging. She impressed the judges with her submission. Our second place winner is Miss Nikia Scott. And she covered yes. This is a Man's World. She definitely impressed so many people with her vocal ability. And she will be receiving $2,000 cash and the speaker sponsored by Veltronics. But she not would... just speakers, both. Yes. A both system, yeah. Which is great. This will also include $600 from Unitrust Corporation. Yes, that is definitely, definitely a great prize. Um, and folks, I know, I know, we want to know the winner of the Tobago Grassroots Competition 2020. For, well, in this, I don't even know how to say post-COVID, in this COVIDian space. And we want to say the winner and congratulations to Ayana Phillips. And she is the winner. <laughs>
Letting it all out. I'm not looking for clout. Spoken word, spoken line. Click some brain rewind to a time when toxic masculinity took something from me. Something that was not yours to take. Breathe. Rewind. Toxic masculinity messed with my sanity. That time, that time, I know I wasn't walking the straight line. I passed through a shortcut. Who knew that was the movie plot? Didn't your parents teach you about good and bad touch? <laughs> I never looked at his face as he stroked me with peace. Invisible, impossible. I had to survive, stay alive. Hot tears flowing that were far from real. Where was my Jesus to take the wheel? Have you ever taken your last breath? In a near-death ordeal? I've forgiven them all but you. But you had no face to erase to the face and look away in a suitcase. Although I washed myself clean, I still felt obscene. Anxiety at them all. God damn it, I was walking through a mall. Yes, it was nice. Yes, I tried to fight. Nada, milch, nothing, numb. I lay as a ton of bricks as I begged him to come. I gave him the motion with no emotion. Spoken word, spoken line. I didn't come here to run. Just to tell you about a time, so I rewind. Drake said he needed some head on a comfortable bed. I had to settle for danger and a stranger on a concrete bench who walks with a wire to wrap around her throat. I mend the real monsters walking this hurt. M.A.N. It was woman that gave you birth. Intimate partner violence, sexual assault, inappropriate touching all by default. The word is rape of our women and our girls. Why were you on the road? What were you wearing? Victim blaming and shaming, reputation staining. This is draining. Spoken word, spoken line. I didn't come here to rhyme. Rewind, this story is mine. I want to say, Ayana, congratulations. Your piece touched everybody. Yeah. Judges all spoke about that piece. Also, the, the, the video, the, the power of the video. And so you will receive $5,000 courtesy NLCB. All right. You will also receive $800 worth in shares from Unit Trust corporation i think they call it units and then you also get to be featured on tempo station over a period of time over the next 28 days or so and we're really pleased that frederick is really pleased to feature that winning performance and the power of that video and the power of tobago grassroots Risia, what can we say ayana Congratulations to you, Ayanna. I know that so many people felt um, they could just connect with her piece. They felt that it was very real, very raw. Um, and it just was one thing that was lingering in their minds at the end of the show. So congratulations yeah. to you, Ayanna. It's so timely with what it is that we're seeing happening in the nation. It definitely connects. Um, definitely a timely and much needed message. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I mean, I I, mm -hmm. I want to say to all those, um, and we want to say we don't have, we only have everybody else came fifth. Fifth. All right, I need you to know that we don't have last place in this. There's no last place in this competition. So all the others came fifth. We say just all of fifth place winners will receive five hundred dollars cash. Please, we say just call the names of all those who came fifth. All right, we don't have last place. We have fifth place. Go ahead, Risa. And the names are being called in no particular order, so it is not a situation where um, this is a fifth to fourteenth, right? Right. Yeah. Um, Miss Ocean Trim, Youthquake Performing Company, Soma, Xavier Edwards, Rian Lindsay, Kiona James, Michelle Thompson, Machilo Williams. Tia Marie Harrigan and Shamika Dunoon. 
Miss yeah. Arnold, and, 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 I really want to reiterate the fact that there is really no last place because honestly, no, the judges no um, spoke about so many different individuals that they were really impressed with. It's not a situation where they felt that, okay, this person was great. Oh, that person was trash. Absolutely none of that. It was the hardest task ever to come to this decision. Yeah. And, and, and you see, I, I must say, you know, the, the, the issue is that... Um, all the judges were talking about different performers. I mean, the dances, yeah, the, the, the singing, the, the love, yeah, they loved Shamika's yeah, clips, so I mean, they loved great. Michelle. But you know, that's the hardest thing with judging that you have to follow criteria. And at the end of the day, all these stars shine bright, but it's just that somebody and some of them shine a little bit brighter than the others, and I think that's where the the issue comes to be, you know? And um, certainly I want to say thanks to all the performers. Let's keep talking. Let's try network together and look at the opportunities moving forward. All right? Thank you very much, Risa, for the work you did. I want to thank all of you for following us on um, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, whichever platform. We want to thank you all. Thank our sponsors, thank our judges. And until next year, season two, we're gonna commit to this one time this year. Oh, okay, Mr. Arnold. We'll yeah, definitely have a conversation about this. And I can yes. imagine that a lot of creators on the island are gearing and ready to go. Yeah, I know coming in, people were kind of confused about how would the visual show work. And now yeah. that you've seen how it's working, yeah. Yeah. All right, again, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to next year. To all the winners, congratulations, and um, certainly feel free, we'll be talking to you online, um, explaining to you how you can receive those virtual prizes. All right, thank you very much, and until next year, bye-bye from the team here at Tobago Grassroots Talent Competition 2020. Yep.